निर्विशेषन्यवादी पश्चात्यतिशतारिने वंचकाउपातरुद्यस्या कृपा सिंधु बायेवचा पतितनं पवाने ब्यो वैष्णवे ब्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासदेव गौर भक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे so today we're on chapter number 32 entitled Krishna returns to the gopis. So, what? Is 32? Yes. Okay, okay good night. So Lord Krishna had disappeared from the gopis and the gopis were very distressed and were looking everywhere for him. But the gopis were not able to find Krishna. Krishna was hiding himself and they couldn't find him anywhere. Then finally, Krishna appeared and he looked very handsome and he looked, he looked like a person with all kinds of opulence. When Krishna is on his own, he's not so beautiful. But when he's with his energy... This meeting is being recorded. When he's with his energy, then it's very beautiful. Uh, and so the Mayavadis, they are not able to understand this because they simply think about the Absolute Truth. They don't understand how the Absolute Truth has also energies. But the devotees, we don't like to just worship Krishna on his own. We like to have Krishna along with his potency, like Srimati Radharani. If you just have Krishna on his own, then it's not complete. Because Krishna should never be alone, he should always be with his potencies. So Krishna is, uh, he is always surrounded by many thousands of goddesses of fortune. And the gopis, they're also goddesses of fortune. So Krishna held their hands on the bank of the Yamuna. So it is said Krishna has thousands of gopis and out of thousands of gopis, 16,000 of them are very important. 
ะคริสนาเนี่ยทรงมีโกปีเนี่ยเป็นพันพันนาแต่ในบรรดาเนี่ยพันพันนาเนี่ยสิบหกนาเนี่ยเป็นบุคคลเป็นโกปีที่สําคัญ So out of these six, sixteen thousand, one hundred and eight are very important. Uh, ในบรรดาหลายๆพันหนึ่งหมื่นหกพันนาเนี่ยถือว่าเป็นสำคัญนะจากหนึ่งหมื่นหกพันเนี่ยเหลือหนึ่งร้อยแปดถือว่าเป็นนาที่สำคัญ And out of these one hundred and eight, eight are very special. และจากหนึ่งร้อยแปดคนเนี่ยมีแปดคนที่พิเศษมาก And out of these eight. Two are, two are very special, Radharani and Chandravali. And out of these two, Radharani is the most special. So Krishna had gone to the forest, and in the in Vrindavan, and the forest is all along. But in the forest, there's the river Yamuna. And the, there was a beautiful moonlight. It was in, at night, and the moonlight, did, the moonlight was lighting the, the forest. And it was the particular time of the season. It was the autumn season. It was called the Sarat season, and at that time the flowers were in bloom, and there was very nice flowers like the Kunda flower and the Kadamba flower, and they had a nice smell. And even the bees, they could smell the the the. Flowers and the bees thought that it was honey because the smell of the flowers was so sweet. So the gopis made a seat for Krishna and they placed their cloth. They had pieces of clothing and they put pieces of clothing on the ground to make a seat for Krishna. So these gopis, in their previous life, in their previous life, they were men and they were followers of the Vedas and they had been great scholars of the Vedas. And in their previous birth, they actually saw Krishna when he was there in the form of Lord Ramachandra. Krishna's previous in incarnation, Krishna was Lord Rama, and these men in the forest they had seen Lord Rama, and they had been attracted to him. <laughs> ในสมัยยุคก่อนแล้วก็พอเห็นแล้วเนี่ยก็รู้สึกชอบพระองค์มากๆ So Lord Ramachandra had told these men that in his next incarnation they could come and they could be with him and that they would take birth as gopis and they would be able to fulfill their desires and have association with Lord Krishna และเพื่อให้พวกนางเนี่ยได้รับความพึงพอใจเนี่ย So these these gopis were very very happy that they had the opportunity to be with Krishna in the forest. So when the gopis had Krishna in their company, they didn't want anything else. They had they 
they, they were so satisfied in Krishna's company, they had no other thought of it. They, they, they were completely satisfied. So the gopis made a beautiful seat, but they put cloth on the ground there, on the, on the ground, and arranged a very nice soft seat for Krishna to sit on, and the gopis sat around Krishna. Even great yogis like Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma, they always try to fix their mind on Krishna. But the gopis were so fortunate that Krishna was seated with them directly. These gopis were the most beautiful ladies and Krishna looked very beautiful in their company. So Krishna was seated with all the gopis around him. So we may wonder, how could Krishna do like this? So in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that he is in the heart of all living entities. So Krishna manifested himself that although he's there as the Paramatma in the heart of the gopis, Krishna arranged that he could sit, come out of the heart and sit beside each gopi. So Krishna sat beside each gopi and the other gopis didn't know that Krishna was sitting with other gopis. Each gopi thought Krishna is sitting with me. So for the yogis, Krishna is in their heart, he sits in the heart of the yogis, but for the gopis, he sits by their side. So this was Krishna showing, giving special favor to the gopis because they have so much love for Krishna. So Krishna was satisfying them. So when they, when they were with Krishna, the gopis began to please Krishna and they began to move their eyebrows and they were smiling at Krishna. And they were hiding their anger. Actually, previously they'd been angry at Krishna because Krishna had hid himself from them and gone away from them. But when Krishna had come back, they, they hid their anger. So some gopis would take Krishna's feet and they would massage the lotus feet of Krishna. And while they were 
doing like that, they would they talk to Krishna very in a very special way. They would smile at Krishna, and at the same time, they would ask Krishna a question. And th this question they asked Krishna was to show how much bitter feeling, how much anger they had towards Krishna, how much anger they had towards Krishna. And so Gopi said to Krishna, Krishna, we are just ordinary women of Vrindavan. We don't know anything about Vedic knowledge. We don't know what is right and what is wrong. So we want to ask you a question because we know you are very intelligent. You've learned a lot so you can answer our question. So Gopi asked Krishna, when in the dealings between lovers, between the lovers, the man and the woman, we find that there are three classes of men. So one class, they simply take what the other class may give, may offer to them, and they will simply take it and accept it nicely. Even if the lover, even if one of the lovers is behaving in a, the, a bad way, So you've got some, first you've got one class, they simply receive whatever the devotee may offer. And then the second class is sometimes one lover behaves in a, you know, a not nice way, not pleasing. And then the third class doesn't, they don't do anything wrong, but they don't do anything good either in the dealing of love. So out of these three classes, which do you prefer and which do you call honest? So Krishna replied to the gopis, he said, my dear gopis, persons who simply return the loving dealings of the other party are just like a business person. According to what the one person gives, they will give that same amount back to them. So actually, this, this is not really love. 
อันนี้เนี่ยไม่ได้เรียกว่าความรัก It is just simply selfish or self. We're just acting only like a business. It's just like a business that you give something, you get something back. เหมือนก็เหมือนกับธุรกิจเวลาเราให้อะไรเขาไปเราทำอะไรเพื่อเขาไปแล้วเราก็วางให้เขาเนี่ยทำอะไรเพื่อเราหรือให้อะไร So even people who Don't have any love. They may not have any loving feelings. They're better than these business people. So these the second class of men are better than these first class people who are just business. Because the second class, they will show love, although even though the person didn't deal nicely with them, still they will show love for him. So that is sincere love. That is real love. Just like when father and mother love their children. Now the children may not love the mother and father, and they may neglect them, but still the mother and father will love their children. We often see like that the mother and father give so much for the children, but the children they don't appreciate. But then the third class people, they don't, they don't neglect, they don't neglect you, and at the same time they don't show any appreciation. So these third class, they can be put into two classes. One class is those who are self-satisfied. They're satisfied in themselves. They don't want anything. They don't. They don't care if some if somebody doesn't love them. They don't, they're, they're called atmarama because they're already satisfied in themselves. And they think of the Lord in their heart. And so they don't care if somebody loves them or not. Because they have their relationship with Krishna, with the Supreme Lord. But there's another class who are un they're also ungrateful people. They have a very hard heart. And the men in this group, they always go against the the superior person. Yeah. 
And Krishna gives an example, he says, just like, just like a, a son, someone may be the son, so he may get so many nice things from his parents, he's got so much kindness, his parents gave him so much love, but he doesn't, he doesn't appreciate it. So these people, they're called in Sanskrit, the term is Guru Druha, because the parents are also like gurus. So you may get so much from the guru, you may get so much from your parents, but we don't appreciate it and we just we uh, just we don't appreciate what we get from the parents we don't appreciate what we get from our gurus and we just neglect them so the gopis by asking this question they were they were actually saying that they thought Krishna didn't appreciate them so although the gopis didn't mention Krishna directly, Krishna answered the question for the gopis. Krishna said that he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and he is self-satisfied. So he said he doesn't require anybody's love, but at the same time he's not ungrateful. So Krishna told the gopis, he said, you may be upset sometimes by my words and by my behavior. But Krishna said, you should know sometimes I don't I don't reciprocate, I don't show any gratitude for what you do for me. Sometimes he said, I know you do, you're very attached to me and sometimes I don't show my appreciation for you. So Krishna said, I do this, so this helps to, for you to increase your love for me. If, it, if I make it too easy for you to come to, for you to please me, then it won't be good. You think it's so easy to please Krishna. So sometimes I don't I don't show any appreciation for what you've done.
Just like if a person has no money, but after some time he saves up, he managed to save up some money, but then he loses it. Then he will think about his lost money, he will think about it all the time, 24 hours a day. So Krishna says, I want you to think of me 24 hours a day. I want to increase your love for me. So that's why sometimes I don't appreciate you. So Krishna told the gopis that you should not think that I have that I have been dealing with you as I do with ordinary people. I know you're very special devotees. You have given up all your responsibilities just to be with me. You haven't you you're not even you're not caring even about your own parents, but you've come to be with me. So I'm very much grateful to you and I cannot repay you. I, I cannot treat you like ordinary devotees. So you should know that I was never away from you. I just wanted to see how much you were anxious to get me back. So please you don't try don't try to find any fault with me. And if I've done anything wrong, then you should forgive me. I won't be able to repay your love for me even in a lifetime, even over many lifetimes. So I, I want you to be satisfied by your own pious activities. You overcame the greatest difficulties, the family connections, the greatest difficulty in devotional service, and you overcame it to come to be with me. So please you be satisfied with your own very, very wonderful behavior and character. So the behavior of the gopis 
of Vrindavan. This is the highest, this is the purest kind of devotion. Pure devotional service should be without any material desire and it should be uninterrupted. Nothing should stop our service to Krishna. So these gopis of Vrindavan, they showed the highest level of pure love for Krishna. And that's why Krishna says he owes them, he's indebted to them, he cannot pay them back. So this Lord Chaitanya said that this service, the mood of the gopis, this is the best of all devotional service. No other devotional service can equal it. All right, so that's the end of the story. Krishna returns to the gopis. Okay, are there any questions? Yes, go there from Shaya Mataji. Hare Krishna Shaya Mataji. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Dhanavapanam. Please accept my humble obeisances. Okori to Sira Pabupan. Ajanaha, who give me one sub so long, a Palaya Tang Pad from Vishna, Loko. Oh, a Pun Tang Pad, Pun Kong Vishna, while I in Radawaha. คือพี่อยากให้กุรุมหาราชอธิบายเรื่องนี้ให้ฟังหน่อยเพราะพี่ตอนแรกพี่เข้าใจว่าเป็นคนเดียวกันแล้วพี่ไปได้ยินอีก
ล้วก็ทั้งแปดนางเนี่ยค่ะก็จะมีทักษะความสามารถต่างๆที่จะใช้ในการทำให้ราราดารานิกาคิชนาได้เจอกัน You know, one gopi may be very expert in cooking and making nice food dishes for the pleasure of Krishna, and another gopi is very expert in making the flower garlands and arranging flowers for Krishna. Gopi นางหนึ่งเนี่ยมีความสามารถมากในการทำข้าวก็จะทำกับข้าวมาให้ Krishna. อีกนางหนึ่งเนี่ยก็เก่งมากในเรื่องของดอกไม้ก็จะทำดอกไม้พวกมาลัยมาให้กิชนะ Another gopi she's very close she's a very dear friend of Radharani so sometimes when Radharani is crying and she's in feeling pain because of her dealings with Krishna sometimes Radharani gets upset so one of the gopis will go and comfort Radharani and they will give shelter they will They'll help her to become calm and peaceful. เอกนางเนี่ยก็จะมีความสามารถในด้านปลอบเพราะบางครั้งเนี่ยเวลาดาราณีเจ็บกับเจ้าอะไรอย่างนี้นก็จะมีความต้าสุขมากแล้วเพื่อนกบีคนนี้เนี่ยก็จะช่วยปลอบอารมณ์กิชนาให้นางได้ We know Krishna is with Radharani in the center on the altar, right? เราทราบดีว่ากิชนากาดาราเนี่ยจะอยู่ตรงกลางของหิ้งพระ And then Lalita is beside Krishna and Vish แล้วลลิตาเนี่ยจะอยู่ข้างๆคริชนา And Vishaka is beside Radharani แล้วก็วิชาคาเนี่ยจะอยู่ใกล้ๆกับรัตรานี So Vishaka is the best friend of Radharani วิชาคาเนี่ยเป็นเพื่อนที่สนิทที่สุดของดาราณี So these two gopis, Lalita and Vishaka, they are the most senior among the eight gopis. แล้วก็ในบรรดากูปีทั้งแปดเนี่ยกูปีที่อาวุโสที่สุดก็คือลลิตากับวิชา But the other the other gopis, you have Tunga Vidra, Tunga Vidya, Chitra. And Champakalata on the on the on the side of Krishna, beside Lalita, there's Tungavidya, Chitra, Champakalata. And then in the side of Krishna, there will be three people. One is Tungavidya, Chitra, and Champakalata. And then on the other side, you have then you have Lalita, and then you have Radha and Krishna. And then you have Vishaka. And then f a n g n a t a me Lalita, me Vishaka. And then the other three gopis: i n d u l e k a Ranga Devi, and Su Devi. Got me i n d u l e k a Ranga Devi, l a g a Su Devi. Example. So these are the eight gopis. And l o r a n g o k a t a p e n p e We, we say the Astasakis. เราจะเรียกพวกนางว่า Astasaki. Asta means eight, so there's eight important gopis, and they're helping with all the arrangements for Radha and Krishna's pastimes. อันนี้เนี่ยเรียกว่า Asta เนี่ยแปลว่าแปดก็แปลว่าเพื่อนทักแปดของคริชนาซึ่งพวกเขาเนี่ยคอยช่วยคอยช่วยเราคอยช่วยเรา But there, there are many other gopis also. Just like Vrinda, Vrinda is also a gopi. So Vrinda is also a very good friend of Radharani. Vrinda is also a very good friend of Radharani. So Vrinda was originally the queen of Vrindavan, but she made Radharani the queen. Vrinda, เนี่ยความจริงนางเนี่ยเป็นราชินีของ Vrindavan, แต่ว่าสุดท้ายเนี่ยนางจะมอบตำแหน่งนี้ให้กับ Radharani. So the gopis are 
These, these gopis, they all came in the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. And when, when they came in Lord Chaitanya's pastimes, they came as men. Because they thought if they come as women, they never get a chance to be with Krishna much. So they came in the next incarnate, they came when Lord Chaita when Krishna came as Lord Chaitanya, these gopis all came in the man, male form. So they could enjoy Krishna's company more. Just like Lalita, she became Swarup Damodar Goswami. And Vishaka, she became Ramananda Rai. And these two, uh, these two men, they were the most intimate associates of Lord Chaitanya. Okay. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam, Guru Maharaj. Maharaj, we thought Rai Ramanand was a Vishaka incarnation or like Arjuna's also we found somewhere. How we understand that? Well, one form of a devotee can be a combination of different other devotees in the past. It can be a combined form. Hare Krishna Gurudev. Uh -huh. Please accept some humble obeisances. Hare Krishna. Gurudev, I want to ask, um, although we are still at the very um, conditioned stage, but there are times when we truly have sincere desire to serve the Lord. So even at this point, is our, uh, does, the Lord, does Lord Krishna directly interfere? I mean, not interfere, but does he look after our, you know, well-being and desire when it comes to his service? Well, he's not obliged. It's not that he has to do it. He may do it, he may not. He will consider what's the best thing. You may not appreciate, but he's the supreme. It's his. He has that choice. He can decide for himself. Mm. 
คือบางครั้งเนี่ยเราอาจจะไม่ชอบที่พองแบบทําแบบนั้นหรืออะไรก็แล้วแต่แต่ว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงเป็นพระผู้เป็นเจ้าทรงสูงเพราะฉะนั้นพระองค์ก็ทรง And you, you just have to accept whatever he decides. Hmm. 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 Each time it surprises me as if it's unbelievable. So I was just wondering, I mean, even at this point in time, despite of being so conditioned, would they actually be listening to me? I mean, it just at times really. Of course, there are also times when things don't happen, and I just have to remind myself that no, Lord Krishna has the best in heart and. Whatever he feels is best for me will only happen accordingly. But I asked you; I thought I will get a more clear idea. That's why g o o d d a y But understood, g o o d d a y Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Any other question, Archana? No more question, g o o d d a y Okay. So then we'll finish here tonight. Okay, g o o d m a s h Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much, Ramesh. Thank, thank you, Ramesh. Thank you so much, m a r a j h a r i k r i s h n a Hare Krishna. The recording has stopped. Shri Prabhupada ki jai. Shri.